So today we made a pretty cool discovery and it's a beaver dam, as you can see. And what's interesting is that the beaver built it right on top of a ditch. This is our India stream, this is a drainage ditch. But as you can see, the difference here is like maybe three and a half feet, so maybe about a meter of um, this level and this level. There's about a meter in difference. And I don't know how old this one is. Looks like this right here, the beaver also put, maybe he was, or they were, or it was planning on um, making this a lot bigger, but I think we're gonna dismantle this thing today because, you know, we need to get all of this to go down there because this right here, that can also be filled up with water and it needs to be filled up with water because that's the entire point of a ditch. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, QA test to see the structural integrity of this dam. So that's pretty good. So I myself right now I weigh 250 pounds, which is like 110 kilograms. And this thing's holding up pretty good, man. Pretty good. We're walking around here. I notice that they use kind of bigger logs like this and they use them as braces to support the weight of the, the thing, the dam. Honestly, I think that's pretty good. I'll probably just tear it up now. I think that's what I'll do. Let's see. Let's move all this back. Because I think even when it starts, as it starts flowing, it would just gradually wash all this stuff away because of how strong it is. Okay. I guess I'll just hack away now. I'll just start from the center. Work my way up. It's starting to leak. One thing I have to consider is how I'm going to get over again. So, I didn't think about that.
Man. Man. You guys seeing this? It's nasty. Okay, final moment right here. Okay, she's going.
So as you can see, it's flowing pretty good. Actually, I mean, it's flowing really good. That's a pretty good outflow coming out right there. I'm not sure how far, how much the water levels dropped, but it's looking like it's falling pretty quick. So I think what I'll do, I'll try to keep digging this out. Um, I'll probably still try to push this side out more since, you know, if I, if I remove all that while standing there, I can't really get across without getting wet. So that's what I'll try to do. But this is looking pretty good. Look at that flow. This is literally like hundreds of gallons. I mean it, more. That's crazy. Okay, let's keep going.
So I think we did exactly what we needed to do. If you look at that log right there in front, it's kind of hard to tell, or a piece of wood. That thing was submerged underwater uh, several minutes ago, or like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. I, don't, I have no idea how long I've been out here. Hopefully it's not gonna be a super long video. But just by judging by that log, it's already dropped to at least three inches. So, you know, if you think about it, that's a lot. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is right now because it's already a massive outflow. We're probably already gonna push the limits of some things down there. But hopefully when this area dries out, we'll come back and move this debris somewhere else. Or try to just, you know, dig it deeper. Or not dig it, I don't know, clean it up. Because right there, there's still kind of that um, little mound. So it kind of goes super deep right here, and then it goes like this, and then it slopes down. So we want to remove that too. And that's the same thing we want to do down there with the other culvert pipe, or with the culvert pipe. Because the culvert pipe is like maybe a thousand feet down that way. So this is all just like one huge, um, uh, I don't know, how, one huge thing, system that's all connected. So right now the water's flowing really good, as you can see. And then it seems to be stopping right by some over there. And I think the railroad guys should be doing this because I think everything from like this point is technically their property, but they don't care. Oh yeah, we can see up there. Okay, so we walked about 100 feet and as you can see, the water's flowing very nicely. Now we're coming to the point where we are reaching just about maximum uh, potential. I don't, I don't know, potential. No, actually, no, it's gonna keep going. See that, how it's flowing out like this? So, looking at this, it doesn't seem like it's draining anywhere. The water just seems to be flowing like this. So there might be a pipe here. That's why it's marked off like this, but it's probably clogged up too, or been clogged up forever. Because this looks like storm debris that kind of just piled up here. But here, let's go down over there. As you can see, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. This is a very good thing. How the water is just flowing now. Let's try to catch up to it. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. So this is how it was supposed to be. If that, if um, that area ever got flooded or started rising, this was all supposed to rise at one level. And so this is, this is what's supposed to happen. Which is going pretty cool. I just kind of walk along with it. Look at that. That's all satisfying. And it's just gonna keep going and going and going and going and going and going and going all the way until maybe that little mound right there. Let's go check it out. So before anybody says I'm like crazy or I don't know what I'm doing, so you look at this, everything's flowing right here. Look at this side, same thing. You see how the water, it's flowing down there. See that? It's flowing, so this is exactly what should have happened. And this is, this is good, this is very good. If you like this, subscribe. But yeah, this is awesome. I don't know, this is very satisfying to watch. Just look at how dark that water is. Like, looking at camera, it just looks black. In real life, it's kind of like brown. So it's kind of a weird color, kind of depressing. Or it looks like Coca-Cola. <laughs> Maybe I can bottle this stuff up and sell it. Organic Coca-Cola. Same thing on the side. So we just came back from like all the way over there and looking at the dam now, it seems that the water level is is even now, about here. So it's probably not gonna get any lower because looking at that little log right there, um, the water level hasn't really changed. But it, ha it did drop like two inches. And if you think about, you know, at least an acre of land and you know, three inches of water, dropping 
that's a lot of water. I guess a lot of water. So, <clears throat> you know, this is very good. What I'll do right now, I'll go check out the culvert pipe and we'll see, maybe there's a difference over there. So if you just look at these rocks, you kind of see how it gets super light and then dark and then it gets really dark. That just shows you how much it's dropping. So we did what we did wanted to do. We kind of um, uh, relief that area a lot and it's dropping out. Never mind, I can't go over there. There's a train coming right now. We'll wait for it to pass for safety reasons. Okay, we're back to the culvert pipe. So this thing was dammed up in the morning too. I unclogged it again, but this looks pretty normal. So that's going pretty good. Let's get down here. So, um, looking at this, when I unclogged it today, as you can see right here, the bottom is ready, or the this bottom wood panel over here is no longer underwater. So it's, you know, it's out of the water now, which is a good sign. That means it's dropped by a lot. So that's good. Um, when I clogged it earlier before the dam, it was probably like maybe mm, one six, not one sixteenth, like one fourth of an inch higher. So it did drop a bit, a little bit, but not too much. You can see a bigger, um, bigger change over in that area. But right now, you know, this is going pretty good. Let's get another pipe shot just for actually yeah if you even look at the pipe um the water is flowing pretty straight i don't know how this looks right now i can't see the camera screen it's 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 flowing pretty smooth so that's a good sign that means things are kind of back to normal i guess with the removal of the removal of the dam over there and then you know unclogging the pipe almost daily this will help restore flow to things so that's good so we're kind of just chasing the water back or whatever we're chasing the water right now as you can see it's it's risen a lot and it's gotten a lot higher this is the area i was kind of talking about of it just kind of um kind of puddling up here it it piled up but it just kept going like right now it looks like it's about six seven inches deep throughout the entire thing so you know that's a lot of water outflow coming out right now which is a great thing a little bit earlier in like the first video and the second video, I was kind of making fun of the engineers for the culvert pipe. But looking at, you know, uh, after finding that dam and then removing it, I kind of see that, you know, they weren't in the wrong. They were kind of, you know, expecting the water to flow like this instead of, you know, flowing like that. So this is good. One thing I noticed while I'm walking on the, on the railroad track is that if you could see, this this side of the railroad track is probably like two feet higher in terms of um of rock and all that and this side is a lot lower but that side still has a pretty good amount of um of water on it probably about the same amount so you know this is like similar outflow numbers right now i think we'll just follow it to the point where um it ends i know there's a creek somewhere down there and i think this is where all of it's supposed to drain to so we'll check it out this is kind of interesting right here. This guy's dumping his grass right up on this area. It's kind of sketchy. I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> so we caught up to the stream again. Oh, there it is. Right there. This part is already wet as you can see. And now it's starting to flow. Except it's picking up a lot of dust and sediment with it. So that's kind of not good, but just keep keep going with it. That's really not good, but what can you do? So we're waiting for this train to pass again. Wind, dude. Woo! Open up 
branch is falling because I'm gonna suck. Oh, look at that. No. That's cool. Okay, back to video. So I walked down the the path and I came to the point where things start sloping down. So one thing I was thinking about was that you know I wanted to see where everything leaks out into. And it seems that everything comes down to this area right here, which is oops, pretty good. Ouch. It's a nice hole right there. But yeah, this is where things are gonna start stopping. Or they'll start filling up, but all that sediment, it's not gonna get really far because right here you have this little dam. And we'll just leave that because it's like a natural blockade from all that erosion. But the water is flowing down there somewhere, maybe like a couple of hundred feet back. We'll go chase it down and see what's up. This part is actually super cool, dude. Look at that. See how all, all this has been eroded? That's awesome. That's probably decades worth of erosion. Oh, there's a bolt right there too. That's cool. I think that's, yeah, that's rock right there. So that stuff has just been eroding year by year by year by year. Probably for like 40 years, 50 years, more. That's cool. It all drains out over there. And then there's the creek that flows somewhere over there. Dang, I'm about to miss the best part. So you see the water flowing right there? Right here, there's a little bit of a, I guess, secondary dam. I'm not sure. Man, but what sucks is that um, this place right here that wasn't wet, the area that wasn't wet, all of the dirt and stuff, it kind of just got picked up. So that sucks. But it'll settle eventually. Like this part will probably clog up right here with debris and stuff. And then it'll create a secondary barricade. At that point, that's kind of fine because the main thing is that water's flowing. So I think I'll go down there where I came from, like about this point. Oh no, like somewhere right there. I will keep looking at it. Man, this is just literally like, I think at this point, this is probably a couple of hundred thousand gallons of water that's just leaking out. I'm not really like a flow, flow rate guy or flow rate with the mathematics part of it, but this looks like it's probably like a good three gallons a second. It's just moving out. Three gallons, I don't know. Maybe three gallons. So that's like what, 13 liters or something like that? 14 liters? The rate it's flowing at. So, man, but it's still got a couple of minutes to go. Maybe I'll just time last this part or I just watch. Look at that. Satisfying. Man, but there's so much water. Like, I'm in shock, dude. That's a lot of water. I mean, eventually this would have happened either way, man. That dam would have probably burst. Or probably burst. It, it burst. These things burst a lot. Because there's another area I worked at, and the dam was there for like a year, but then it um, it blew up eventually. So that part is crazy.
looks are really cool. Uh, somebody's been here. S H R S K. Wow. That's awesome. I got the other side too. So this is a creek I was talking about. Whoa. You can tell it's getting clogged over here too. That part, that stuff probably eventually needs to get removed too. So I guess it's all maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Let's see if we do a backward shot. I don't know. Because it looks like this part is just concrete. And so what happened is that with years of um, erosion and then sediment just kind of leveling down on it, eventually the grass started growing. And what happened is that the grass kind of like closes the channel. So, you know, all of this stuff only gets cleaned up either when dams blow up or when um, there's just huge rainstorms. You can see this place is flowing pretty good. So that's kind of cool. Nice. So, oops. That's where all that's going. So all this water is just going to go to the creek. You can see, look at this. This right here, this little um, dam part, that's just years and years and years of, um, what's it called? Build up. Nobody's ever cleaned it out. But it'll probably get cleaned out with all this water flow out here. It's kind of crazy. So, um, further downstream, you can see the water's a lot more mucky. But as you start going up the road, or up the railroad tracks, the water starts getting cleaner. So the sediment is disappearing. So it is kind of hard to tell on camera, but the water is getting cleaner. So, yeah, things are going pretty good. One thing I did, uh, have, I'm thinking about right now is that if you look at how this area is a lot lower than this area, and then you look at the culvert pipe, I think that culvert pipe was actually, uh, it was never supposed to be the main source of drainage for that area. I think it was supposed to be just an extra, um, um, kind of like a backup, if anything. So those engineers know what they're doing. Yeah, the water's getting cleaner right here. So that's a pretty good, pretty good thing. But I think what's gonna happen is that any of the water that does drain into the culvert pipe, it's gonna make its way into this part, so uh, either way. I think by opening that part of the dam up, what happened is that this area is just gonna, um, um, this area is gonna drain, and then as this area drains, this part is gonna have less stress on it, so this part is just gonna dry up too. So it's kind of like a win-win situation here, which is good, that's what we want. One thing I'm just kind of like super, um, not shocked up, I guess yeah, because I am shocked, is that, just look how much water there is. Like, this is crazy, man. This is all just from one thing. And it's just flowing and flowing. Like this right here, is maybe, in a few areas, it's like six inches, it's eight inches deep. And then it's about two and a half feet wide. So, this is just thousands of gallons of water just flowing. Which is just wild, man. But I think we found the solution to the problem. Uh, for our problem. I think the beaver is going to be very, very pissed when he sees that the main thing holding everything together has been removed. So, yeah, but that's life, man. Some things you can control, some things you can't control. So it seems that we have found the solution to the entire problem, to the entire story. It's just this one beaver dam. And so, um, I think I'm not sure if this thing's gonna get dammed up overnight. I sure hope not, but I think just the next like 10 hours or something like that, it's gonna keep draining and it's gonna drain out a lot. Um, so hopefully this area clean dries out a little bit more tomorrow. I'll probably come by and then try to remove most of this stuff from here. And then hopefully as the water level just drops, just in the entire area, I can come by and kind of clean things out. I can't really go too deep over there, but 
yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do some basic maintenance over here. So yeah, as this area keeps dropping, 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 everything over there, everything way back there, way back there, is just gonna start um, freeing up. And then everything over here too. There's a huge area of land that just... But yeah, this is good. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you're, you know, if you stuck around to this point of the video, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I don't know how long this video is going to be. So the fact that, you know, you guys are here, that's a big thumbs up for me to you. Thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you know, please subscribe. It helps me out. Um, but yeah, thank you. You know, leave a comment if, you know, you guys have some ideas or, you know, you're thinking of things. You see something interesting. Maybe you saw that I did something dumb. Maybe I'm clogging the paper dam was dumb. Who knows? But yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate, you know, your viewership. Thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless. Bye. So it's been about two to three hours. And we're back here. As you can see, the water level has dropped a lot. Let me adjust this real quick. The I showed this earlier, but now there's about two inches of space um, between the water and the actual uh, wood piece. And then if you look, the water isn't flowing. I mean, it is flowing. You can, I can see in the in the reflection of the sun. I don't know if you can see that. And there's like tiny little um, pieces of evidence. You can see that it's flowing. But right now, it's stopped for the most part. So this area, it seems like it's kind of down to its normal level right now. This is it's probably down to its regular, you know, what it's supposed to be. And that's a good thing. Um, but if you look at it, so that dropped maybe an inch, an inch and a half, the water level, just by looking at the, the piece of wood right there. And then from, you know, looking at what's happening here with the pipe on the surface, it looks, it's kind of calm, but when you look in the water, you can see a, a, like a, a gentle current. So that's really good. That means um, we've kind of like neutralized this area and then we're gonna go check out the other part and see what's over there. So we're at the area of where the dam used to be and kind of same thing. There's uh, lots of evidence that the water levels dropped. Like this log right there, for example, I don't know, sure, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a root, but now that thing is completely out of the water. So, just by referencing that log, um, looks like this area alone, just like this little channel part, has probably dropped at least five inches. So, that's very good. And it's still flowing right now. This is still a pretty good outflow. If you kind of look at both sides, Seems that the right side has just about well, has a little bit more flow, but it's very similar to the left side. But right now, as you can see from the left and the right, they're both pretty similar in um, in flow. Maybe even um, it doesn't look like this one has gone down much. Looks like it's relatively the same. So maybe it's just one side is draining, but it's still good. Let's keep going. One thing I'm gonna do uh, when I'm editing, I'm gonna compare the flow. Cause I feel like this side is flowing a lot faster now and I feel like there's a lot more water over here too. Maybe by unclogging the culvert pipe. And um, you guys saw how the water was level. It was at one level, it wasn't really moving. I think what happened right now, um, since the water level is at one even, um, uh, one even even plane or whatever, one even level, uh, now the water pressure on this side and on this side is both the same. Uh, so what I kind of mean is like, uh, you you know you have a separating wall, but the, the water levels are the same on both sides. So it could be that the culvert pipe it kind of stabilized it in a way that the pressure from this side. Um, like the water that's flowing out here because of all the buildup over there it created pressure for all this to leave and then I think it might be the same thing on here is that 
by opening up the culvert pipe, the pressure that was on this side is now kind of pushed over on this side and this, this part is uh, being relieved too. So it might be that uh, in this case, instead of it just being, you know, we freed up this side, we might have done relief to this side too, which is a very good thing. So we're a little closer to the end and I'm looking over at this area and I did record this part a little while ago out of the random, but looking at the water flow over here, I think the theory I had about um, the water pressure being distributed to both to the on the right side and the left side, I think I think it's right because I can just look on footage now to see this part, and I remember correctly this part wasn't flowing like this. So there turned out to be an, in, an increase of flow on this side and on that side too, which is a very good thing. That means this side is probably flooded or has um has flooding occurring on the other side too. I can't really tell because there's a lot of grass, but just from the evidence of this and then kind of like what happened or, or, you know, what I was thinking about, it seems that that's right. So for the right side, we're getting towards the end and wow. Look at that. That's beautiful, dude. Look at this. Look at that flow. That's crazy. That's a lot of water that's coming out. Man, that's crazy. I'm actually kind of like in shock right now i never thought that you know both this side and that side would have so much um water on them i thought maybe it would flow for like an hour or two but it seems that there's a lot more water in there than you know than what i you know what i would think but i think as the water as the water level drops on this on this part of the um, you see there's like a little dam on this side as the water level drops eventually it'll kind of just settle down in here and that's what i was thinking about too it'll just settle down here unless there's a hole in there somewhere then it's just gonna flow out through the bottom but yeah that's very interesting it's a good thing this this is um this little dam right here is right here too because it uh it kind of regulates the flow of water which is a good thing because in the case, there is a lot of water flowing, but there are certain uh, points where the water is being regulated, which is awesome. Like you can tell, like on the shoreline right there, like there's about two inches of difference. So this is pretty cool. Let's check out the creek and see, maybe something changed over there. So we're back by the creek. Um. I can't really tell if the water level has increased here or not. Over there, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's about right here, there's a flow of water coming from uh, that point right there. So the water is channeling through here, somewhere over here, somewhere over here, and it's being let out right there, through there. So that's, that's good, the water's coming out. This part, I don't know, I wanna say that the water that's on that's coming from that side that's running all the way down there into here is coming out over here but it might just be that it's the same you know same outflow of water but we can check this side to see maybe there's a difference over here because I can compare all this on footage and just kind of see and I think it is flowing a little harder or stronger which is a pretty good sign. Wow. Now I'm, I'm kind of just like in a point where we're like, you know, it's like, dude, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's, it's insane what one beaver can do and then what guy, what, what one guy can do. So imagine if beavers and people could work together, you'd have beaver dam skyscrapers like that or just multiple thousands of millions of acres of deforestation because sometimes beavers are like people and people are like beavers
So, I don't know. Okay. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I haven't looked at this part yet. Seems like things wrap up over here. But yeah, this is cool. And then, there's a, it takes a turn over there, the rail track. And then like three miles or four miles down, five miles, there's a river that all of this drains into. This is crazy, but also very cool. I mean, if yeah, like if you stuck around to this part of the video, thank you very much. That's very cool. You know, that's awesome. This is very cool. Like I said, I never in my life thought that I'd be doing this. You know, first of all, I'd be unclogging, unclogging a culvert pipe and then destroying a beaver dam and then just watching how everything, you know, changes so quick. This is crazy to see how, you know, how much is done. So I'm on the other side of the culvert pipe. The pipe is right there. <clears throat> and I think I found the um, word exhaust. So the pipe, it kind of runs like this, but it seems that it goes down into the ground or maybe it just one even level, but it's kind of hard to tell from that side. But looking right there and this space right here, you kind of see how there's a clearing of algae right this part right here. I just kind of, I, I moved some grass, but looking right there, it's very hard to see when you're kind of just, I don't know. I hope you could see that. What's happening is that you can kind of see how um, material is moving up and it's kind of just going like this, it's expanding. And that's what I can see from here. And hopefully you guys can see that from camera. So apparently the exhaust or the, the, um, the other end of the culvert pipe is underwater on this side. So I think the pipe, it kind of just like slants at a degree, maybe like 25 degrees or something like that. But also looking at this area, if you look right here, kind of the outline, this area has dropped maybe an inch or two as well. So I think the entire um, theory of the water pressure uh, is definitely correct. Because if this pipe is underwater and that pipe is at a higher elevation, and then that means most of that water on the other side is also at a higher elevation. It's, it's creating pressure on this side for all this stuff to drain out too which is a very good thing. So this is actually super interesting. I haven't taken a physics class or anything or, you know, but just looking at how things are working here, this is very interesting. Very cool. But I just wanted to add that. This is, this is the last clip. Okay, bye.